Everyone can hear me well? Yeah? Okay. So, uh, regarding the last topic of Tiago, I would like also to add that um, ANSYS also has um, a, di a CAD design tool also. And so you can also, for example, if you want to uh, categorize the materials by color, for example, you can uh, categorize them by color and then attribute the materials, for example, and pick them all automatically by color, for example, or by layer. Um, so it's another possibility if you want. Um, so everything was perfectly correct and perfectly explained. Thank you, Tiago, also. <laughs> and basically, uh, we are, uh, I'm representing E3S. Uh, we are um, channel partners of ANSYS, um, so uh, I'm going to talk about a, a bit of the um, applications of the software for the naval industry. So uh, the topic is aiding naval projects with computational simulation and ANSYS applications. My name is Nuno. Uh, I'm currently a mechanical engineer at the ESSS for about two and a half years. And um, my colleague Sara, which is seated back there, it's the... Um, it's, um, basically um, treats about the part of the business. So if you want to buy a license or something, you can talk with her. Um, so I'll just uh, talk a little bit about the company really fast. Uh, we currently exist for since 95, okay? We uh, originated uh, in Florianopolis, which is in Brazil, and currently are the only ones, um, the only channel partner in South America um, representing ANSYS. So we as a company, we have a lot of experience in um, uh, naval industry and offshore and also onshore uh, because of, for example, Petrobras, uh, which is an oil and gas company, uh, really known. And uh, this was the company that provided us the guidelines for us to grow also. So we are also in Portugal and Spain uh, for about six years and the Portugal uh, office is the one, the newest office, okay. Uh, we employ also uh, about 150 employees, uh, set, um, which 50% of them, uh, about that, are engineers with masters and doctorates, okay. And they are spread all over the, um, the simulation areas. So structural analysis, CFD, fluids analysis, uh, electromagnetic systems analysis, so, and so on and so forth. Um, so we as a company, we offer software, services, and education. We distribute ANSYS, but not only. We also uh, do development, such as Rocky. Uh, this is usually used for mining and pharmaceutical um, companies. Uh, this uses a different kind of simulation, I would say, uh, which is discrete element method, which basically doesn't... Um, is not uh, withstand uh, in the isostatic models. So you can have, for example, a free-falling rock, and, and we can simulate that. And we can have interaction between this free-falling rock with a pneumatic uh, air um, flow, for example, and do the separation of, um, by density, for example. We can do that. So if you have some kind of weird kind of simulation, we, ca we can possibly uh, provide you a solution also. Okay, and then we have also uh, the software development, consulting so services, uh, HPC Cloud. Basically, this is uh, if you have a big model and you don't have a machine a hardware to solve it, we can provide you a cloud service with uh, extra cores. So basically, ANSYS comprises all of the, um, the this kind of physics. So we were talking about structural analysis, and I'm going to talk a bit more of that but we do not only uh, stay just there. So we also have fluids, electromagnetics, optical. We also have additive manufacturing, for example, uh, for um, sintering laser melting, for example. PCB, uh, thermal analysis, for example, for reliability and fatigue analysis. And all of these ones are included in the same platform. So you can integrate all of those simulations and do, for example, a fluid structural analysis. So, for example, if you're interested in the waves and the sine waves uh, eating your vessel, for example, and uh, uh, understand the distribution of loads in your vessel, you can do it also. We have tools for that. This is just w some companies, okay? So we have, for example, Petrobras, Embraer. We as a company provide support for these, com for these also 
for these companies also. So um, ANSYS has a lot of more, has a lot more companies, but we as a company provide uh, support for all of these ones and are our direct companies. So let's get into it. Naval applications. I'm going to start by talking about a bit all of the um, possibilities, let's say. Uh, I'll present some of these cases that we're going to see here. And then I'm going to present one um, structural analysis case performed by us and one other for some reports of ANSYS itself. And then some contacts that you can reach uh, if you want to reach us and uh, if you have any more questions. So basically, for the naval industry, uh, we comprise some of the applications. These, these are not the only ones, but these are the main ones for the naval industry, okay? So for example, the one that Tiago was talking about and really well, about ship structure strength, we can perform that. We can perform mooring analysis with dynamic loads, for example, in putting it in a transient model, so uh, forces that uh, are um, constantly cha changing through time, we can perform that and do a frequency analysis, for example. Cargo handling, proportion effic efficiency to understand the, f the, the number of uh, flaps, for example, the, uh, the drag coefficient, for example, you can do that with rota rotatory uh, meshing uh, environments. Hazard analysis, for example, for explosions, we can perform that also. Uh, antenna for radio frequency analysis. This is due to high frequency, but we also provide low frequency analysis. And I'm going to show you one use case with the industry. Interesting. Uh, Submodeling. So basically, this is a subcategory of the, the structural analysis, as Tiago also uh, talked about. So I won't, I won't talk about this. He, he explained it really well. Uh, buckling strength. This might be one of the really uh, good aspects of our structural uh, type of analysis, because we can perform this in a linear and nonlinear um, way. So if you perform this in a nonlinear way, we're not uh, overdimensioning it, basically. We have a solver engine that can um, track the curve of the, the buckling mode. And basically, you won't um, over overdimension it by a factor of almost, it might get to 10 to 20% something like this. So this is one use case. Um, erosion and shock with our fluid simulation, we have a reaction flows, let's say, that can react and simulate the maritime um, environments and how it reacts with a structure, uh, with stain, stainless steel, for example. Uh, wave slamming, hydrodynamic analysis to perform the drag coefficients. And buckling vibration, which is the, the combination of buckling and vibration. So this is one of the, I don't know if you have any questions uh, until now. It's okay. Uh, so basically this is a model analysis. We can perform, we can do the analysis. I would like also to add that we can do the analysis even with 3D elements, of course, but it's more efficient uh, if you use uh, shell and beam elements, of course, also. So you won't have the thickness property, and you will use less elements to perform the same analysis. And usually in naval industry, it is performed uh, with beam and shell elements, and it's a, it's a correct approach. Um, if you want to add, for example, mass distribution, because it affects the modal analysis, you can do, for example, point masses, uh, surface uh, mass also, uh, applied by a surface, to a surface, and it will influence your mode shape of your, of your vessel. So this is the first mode shape and the second. And you can, for example, uh, by one of these analyses, you can understand that this is a kind of mode that m is possible to happen, real possi really possible. So you can add weight on other areas and uh, strengthen the ship in some local areas to prevent this mode to be um, completely critical, for example. Structural strength, um, I won't add that too much to this, to this topic. It was uh, previously stated. But basically, we can add all of these uh, boundary conditions. So vertical steel water, wave bending, hydrostatic um, um, pressure. Uh, you can have also steel water and wave shear forces as a dynamic load. Uh, slamming forces, 
torsional moment and external load loading conditions. So, and you can also, for example, import Excel files with loading combinations, import it to ANSYS and perform the calculations as a bulk and with parametric uh, analysis, for example, if you want to test um, which thickness is the best for, a, for a, um, a plate, for example, you can perform that and do it parametrically, basically. Uh, we also provide impact analysis. If you want to perform any kind of simulation like this, we have the tools for it. Okay. Uh, CFD, as I was stating, this is some more uh, uh, other applications that I have, haven't stated before. For example, hull propeller interaction problems for vibration analysis, if you want, propulsion e efficiency, noise and signature due to the pressure waves. We can map that and perform calculations to get the noise out of it and, and understand how it behaves and how you can interact to reduce this noise. Um, for example, uh, fume and gas uh, mapping, for example, if you have uh, winds, strong winds, or, or uh, if you don't have strong winds, um, basically, if you don't want this, these flumes to propagate for your man, manned area, for example, it could be down here, you can uh, construct some kind of uh, structure, for example, and simulate it and uh, watch what it does and if it mitigates your problem. So this is possible through our fluids simulation package. And of course, these are, uh, can be used as an input for your so uh, flume and gas mapping software. So this is one application, for example, for low frequency, which is uh, kind of interesting, at least for me, uh, which is, for example, for ship degaussing. Um, basically, if you have a ground mine, uh, it might look, this is, of course, uh, used more for uh, warfare, but uh, basically, if you have a ground mine, with, uh, which, is, uh, which might be looking for electromagnetic fields, which are from uh, warfare naval ships, um, it might trigger and it might blow off the ship, of course. So you can perform uh, simulations to do the ship degaussing. So uh, perform the electromagnetic field of the ship and, and um, modify it to prevent this from happening, let's say. This is one of the tools that we use and which is mainly used as a um, naval uh, tool, which is aqua. This is uh, si simply uh, how to do it, let's say. Um, and basically, uh, you can uh, add hydrostatic conditions to it. You can have, for example, hydrodynamic, hydrodynamic diffraction to it. Uh, I'd like to pass it a bit forward, if possible. I don't know if you can see it like this, but basically these are the conditions I can tell you about them. Basically here you can, uh, this is to simulate the, the wave, let's say, in your vessel, okay? So you have here the frequency the, of the propagation of the wave, you have the direction, you can um, point the, the wave to hit your vessel in a way that you want, okay? Uh, you also have an incident wave uh, amplitude, so you can simulate that the wave is uh, bigger or, or smaller and the phase angle also. And basically you can get this kind of results and understand how your center of gravity of your vessel, for example, changes through time. This is the pressure wave, the, the, the sea wave, sorry. And basically you can see your vessel uh, moving through time and understand its behavior. Okay. Okay, so basically we as a company, we as ESSS, we also developed some projects, I'm gonna show you one only. And basically it's a structural uh, project of a whole corvette, okay? Where uh, all the beams and shells were designed in this, um, they were imported by ship constructor, I think. I'm not sure about this but I think they were imported by ship constructor and uh, all the properties were in, inserted inside ANSYS. And basically you can see the whole um, 
the whole structure here, and here, for example, the beam and shell um, element, as you can see. Here are some of the boundary conditions, which were used as a spring, uh, just to stabilize the model. We introduced hydrodynamic pressure, and we got some results. For example, um, that the results would vary from 30 to 50 megapascal, uh, and the um, hot spot, let's say, would be at the front of the vessel, for example. And as you can see, the hot spot is also uh, comprising these values, 25 to 48. Imagine that you would like to modify this for uh, any reason. You could, and you could recalculate and analyze these results. So this is the, the advantage of simulation. You don't have to, to build it itself to test it and see if it fails. You can do it right on here with just uh, modifying the thickness, for example. These are also some other projects, okay? So some marine again, port, or let's say, or marine structure. Uh, some grid structure, which can be offshore. Uh, a rod to a pulley for cables, for example. Uh, hull and grid uh, structure, and some of the structures that we were seeing with uh, Tiago also can be performed here in, uh, in ANSYS. These are some articles about ANSYS, about nav uh, naval industry, but by ANSYS, okay? Which are, for example, from, for raising the standards. We also have, as ESSS, uh, analysis to the crane itself, to a marine crane, for example. If you want to check it out, we can talk later if you want. And we also have, for example, analysis for an oil and gas separator. So you can uh, mix fluids different types of fluids, different types, different states of the fluid, so gas and liquid, liquid, for example. You can simulate the number of baffles if it um, is going to um, destabilize the, the flow. Imagine that you have an acceleration due to a, a cause, due to a wave. You can simulate the number of baffles so that it doesn't uh, provo uh, provoke the, um, a reaction, for example, or a force too big on the front part or the rear part. So you, we, you can simulate this and you, you can act on, that, on those results to perform modifications on your model. So these are some of the benefits of simulation. I won't pass them all, uh, but of course, reduce costs, uh, we, uh, weight reduction, you can understand where it's, where it's failing, and basically how your product functions as a whole. Th these are the main topics that I would like to, to present to you. Thank you. Yeah.